Hello, I'm Carson Grace, and I'm by myself today because I don't know where Jaden is. So, um, this is your newest episode of Launch Point. Um, this week we have a Athlete of the Week with Kale, Reese, and Grant. Hey, I'm Kale McCutcheon, and this week we have two Athletes of the Week, and they are noodle fencers. We have Reese Hunt and Grant Barton. So, Reese, please explain to me what your favorite type of noodle is. A macaroni noodle. All right. Grant, what is your favorite type of noodle? A wet spaghetti noodle. Sweet. So, in today's episode, we're going to have these two face off against each other in a noodle fencing match, and then whoever wins will face our reigning champ, Eric Chapman. Reese, please explain to me how your career has gone so far. I'm currently 0-0 right now, so this is going to be my first match. He's making his debut today. Grant, please explain your career. I'm 0-12. I'm trash. Yes. So. It will be a very interesting duel today. We don't know who will win because they are both bad. Thank you. Okay, we are going to start off with our first match. It is first to three. There is only jabbing, no swinging. If you swing, that's a penalty and you reset. Okay, we have our newbie, Reese Hutt, and our 0 12 er Grant Barton. Okay, I want to clarify, guys, only jabs. No swing. Only hits in the chest count. First of three wins. Got it? Fight! I got him. I got him first. I got him first. I got him. All right. Grant Martin, our 0 12 er, is down one very quick. All right, back up, please. Mark it like this? Yes. All right. Fight! <laughs> nope, the chest hit. Oh! Got you. Very bad contesting by our Reese Hunt. I don't want to hear our 0-12 actually scored a point. That's the first time in history. All right, one to one. Fight! Oh, I got him right there. Look, I got one here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, our newbie is winning two to one. You have to score a point, you're out. Yeah. And you'll be 0-13. All right, fight! Alright, he's 0-13! Oh, yeah! 0-13! All that experience, and he's still lost. Alright, let's move on to our championship final. Moving on to our final, we have Eric Chapman. Eric, please explain your record. 18 plus. 18 plus, you heard. Alright, and in our other corner, we have the newbie, who is now 1-0, Reese Hunt. And they were allowed to have coaches. I don't think Reese's coach is going to help at all because he just lost to him. But we have the man, the myth, the legend, Grant Wilson. All right. You guys ready for this? No. Be, yeah. All right. Shake hands, please. Whenever you're ready. Hey, shake hands, Jonathan. Shake hands around here. Oh, okay. Shake hands. All right. We shake hands. We shake hands. Apparently not. My apologies. Alright, only jabs, really? none of this counts. First to one. The what? One? Alright, bet. Alright. Fight! Please wait! Oh. No, no, no. He hit you. He got it. And our champion. Wait, I won? He is now 18 plus. Oh, come on! Again. I need some. Eric, the man. God. Hey. All that all season training. Oh wait, you what won. are you doing? Hey, hey, do you want to hold this? Oh wait, you won. I'll get down there. Okay, thank you for tuning in. That was Noodle Fencing with Kale McCutcheon, Reese Hunt, and Grant Bart. That was a really interesting sport, guys. Next, we have a Safe Sports School Award with Ivy. I'm Ivy, and I'm here with Gabe, who is one of our athletic trainers here at Point. And him and our other athletic trainer, Nate, got a treatment like the award for them being like the best trainers. And what do you think that says like about our school? I would say we got the, an award for being the best trainers, even though I mean, I'm pretty are <laughs> all right. No, um, we, Point Pleasant was awarded the Safe Sports School Award by the National Athletic Trainers Association. So that's pretty much like an award that the NATA gives out to schools who kind of try to go above and beyond to provide like the safest, atmosphere for athletics to participate. 
what do you think that like tells people in our community, in our community itself? Um, I hope that it shows that we work really hard to really provide that safe environment for the student athletes. Yeah. Um, and that we're really trying to keep their best interests, whether that's on the playing field or off the playing field in mind. Yeah. Um, how do you feel having ATs like on site has improved athletics here? Um, I'd say there's a, a few different ways. Um, overall, I feel like our, our injury rate has reduced because we try to do a lot of preventative stuff. Um, even though we still have a lot of kids coming in for treatment, a lot of that's just preventative measures. Um, also too, I believe that it's saved parents and the school system a lot of money yeah. because the kids are able to take care of something that's relatively minor, take care of it here rather than it get worse and worse. And then yeah. they're having to uh, deal with uh, larger doctor visit bills, um, and, and all of that. Yeah. Um, and last question in comparison to you being here as an athletic trainer by yourself mm -hmm. and then with Nate, like mm -hmm. how was that different than you being by yourself? Yeah. It's helped out tremendously. Uh, at Point Pleasant High School, like we have roughly around 475 athletes total, seven through 12. So that's a lot of kids to take care of. Um, not that we see that many at one time, but it helps lighten the load. We're allowed, we're able to devote more one-on-one -on -one time with kids and we're able to be at um, multiple venues. So if we have a softball and a baseball game going on, one of us can be at one or the other. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. That is a really good award to have for our school. Thanks for that interview, Ivy. Next, Tyson interviewed some people about how we can wear hats now. Hi, I'm Tyson, and thanks to our student council here at Point Pleasant Junior Senior High School, we're allowed to wear hats. Now let's talk to these people. All right, I'm here with uh, Johnny Carter. Um, Johnny, how do you feel about wearing your hat now? Um, I mean, it feels really great. Um, I mean, I was, I was taking my SAT, and they kind of came across, and they're like, hats now. Um, to be honest, I was a little sad at first because I had the flow going on and I was like, I gotta cut it, man. It's getting too out of hand. And right two days later, they're like, hats are available now. So at first I was a little mad, but I'm still, still, still vibing. Word. Going on to our next boy. Here with uh, Zach Beckett. Um, how do you feel about wearing your hat now? Um, you know, it's nice because I just gotta wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, put on a hat, walk out the door. So. Yeah, that about it with you? You're not as cool as Johnny? No. You had a whole long story about me. Well, see, my hair's beautiful with or without a hat. You're right. He's right, guys. So, let this be a lesson. Wear your hat. I'm here with Kale McCutcheon. Hey, Kale. How do you feel about wearing hats now? I feel like it's a great idea because I wake up in the morning and I have all this hair that just doesn't want to cooperate, so I put a hat on and we're all good. I feel like you look very good with a hat because, like, your hair looks my the little wing thingy, you know? It's pretty gangster. Well, this thank has you. been uh, Tyson, Kale, Johnny, Zach with hats. And thank you, Tyson, for that segment. Now we tune it over to me with the weather forecast. Hi, I'm Carson Grace, and I'm here with your weather. For the rest of the week, you're going to have like a 104 degree temperature. And the low for the rest of the week is going to be like negative two. There's also going to be some really strong winds. You also get a chance of kale. And there will also be a drought and a tornado. And that's all for your weather with Carson Grace. I think my weather is pretty accurate. Now we have cake decorating with Jaden and Kale. Welcome to Chopped. I'm Kale, this is JP, and today we're going to be making cakes, and clearly you know the winner already. Uh, she's getting chopped real fast. Oh. Anyway, I made these beautiful cakes. I made these beautiful cakes. I made these beautiful cakes. Anyway, I have a circle, she has a square. Okay. Do we just start? What the heck are you doing? <laughs> we're getting a cake. The great one? No cutesy. Why are you flipping it over? I thought it's how I'm making my cake. Came from the underground. Oh, this is thick. Mmm. It's like DQ. Flip it upside down. And it's not. Anyway. 
It's fine, look at that, that's beautiful. We are doing great. Do we get to try these afterwards? You do. Sweet. You won't get to try them because you'll be chopped and your head's going to be on the chopping block. So. <laughs> okay. But what if I win? You won't win. It's rigged. You have to lose. It's rigged. I have to lose? Yeah. Okay. See, look at this. Mine is stacked perfectly. It's like a little snowman. Yeah. I mean, you can see that. It's not coming off. Okay. Guess my spoon's done. What? How many times have you done this? I think I'm in the wrong cake baking division. Quite a, I've done it quite a few times. I don't know. I say. Bless you. Not, not too, too many though. Yeah. Only like. Four or five or six or maybe twenty. Two or two or three four H projects and it's okay. You know. You work with Gordon Ramsay, you know yeah. it's just casual things. <laughs> well I can layer mine too, Jake Patrick. Oh yeah. <laughs> you got enough icing man? You need no. this one too? Honestly, that's a good idea. Are you gonna use it? No. Sweet. Yeah, I'm using that. Alright. Quit copying. I'm done. Eyes on your own paper. I'm sorry. You should learn this in school. I like how my cake is more layered than yours. And it's very layered. And you actually had like another layer of cake that you could layer it with. I could layer it with this. This would do nothing. Might. I might use that, honestly. <laughs> Why? Perfection. All right, that is perfect. Look at that. If you can't see it, let me turn it around for you. Get that full 360 view. I'm not doing that. Mine might fall over. <laughs> Mine's cute. Mine won't fall over. Just take you out of there. You side. go. Yeah, yeah. I get it from the back. Just, oh, you want half of that? Okay. Oh, I just want a little bite just to try. Okay. You didn't even get cake. You got it. Barely the <laughs> cake. They're gonna taste the same. I made both of them. No, you did not. No, it's like it's the love that he put in it. Right. Okay. I don't taste it. The her good. Okay, switch. I don't taste no love. It's not there again. Right. This is my, I, I poured my heart and soul into this cake. I know you did. <laughs> I ain't tasting no love. Look at it, it has cute little flowers on it. I feel like you just did that to do it. Mm-hmm. You know? He actually had a meaning. Mm-hmm. What, what's the meaning behind your cake? I literally, well, okay. so it's the volcano, right? And then I, the safe, the safe city is like outside of this ring. Yeah. Okay. See, he has more creativity. I protected so. all of us from this volcano by I'm adding a river. I'm saying kill one. Yeah, I'm saying the same. Bam. And yours is just basic, like. Yeah. Like anybody can do that. Exactly. Can't, can't win with basic. Like no, this can't. is original piece of art. I've seen cakes like those in stores. You can, can go to any bite? cake. Yeah, sure. You do all yeah, you want. It's really good. It's, Sorry, Jaden. It's like too good. Mine's okay. cuter. No, no. Uh uh. No, not Jaden. It's looks over person or it's personality over looks. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Mm, mine's cuter. Mm. Oh yeah, there you go, Tyson. You got it. I mean, yours would legit fall over if I. It's just about what's on the inside. Hey, it. Hey, don't, don't, whoa! Stop! Don't touch the volcano. It's about what's on the inside. Yeah. Personality is what matters. As you can see, judges love the love and affection that I've put into this cake. Winner. Jaden, I'm sorry, but your basic cake has to be Bye. topped. Bye.
It's pretty good. But it's no match for mine. <laughs> Kale, that was a really good cake. I agree, you won. And now, for our last segment, we have a PSA with Addie. Hi, my name is Addie Steen, and this is a PSA that it is okay to brush your teeth at school. Um, our teacher, Mr. Layton, did a poll, and I apparently was the only one that thought it wasn't weird to brush your teeth at school. But I personally think if you don't brush your teeth at school, you're weird. You're gross if you don't brush your teeth at school, you know? Like when you have, when you drink like coffee or something and then you can feel it on your teeth, you need to brush your teeth after. So it's okay to brush your teeth at school. Addy, I don't agree with that. And hopefully next time, Jaden will be back with me. Bye. <laughs>